election, Leelata. Thank you very much uh, for that. Shivani Sarkar Kurian is with us, uh, senior EVP and head of equity uh, at uh, equity research at Kodak Mahindra Asset Management Company. Uh, Shivani, uh, good afternoon. Good to have you with us here. <clears throat> is this a one-day disappointment talk. with uh, what the RBI has done, or is going to be it's going to stick with us for a while? What's your sense? So I think, hi Prashant. Um, so if you look at what RBI has done, it's pretty much maintained a status quo, both in terms of policy rates as well as their stance. So uh, if you look at the system as such, a uh, couple of things. One is credit growth has been ahead of deposit growth. And therefore, there is a need for deposit growth to catch up from that perspective. So that is something that will possibly continue. And that is what possibly the banking system uh, will have to uh, you know, look at. So if you look at the overall you know, the banks uh, and the way their margin profile has moved. There has been a catch up in terms of cost of deposits for most of the banks, which has started to impact margins. Incrementally going forward, we also expect that, you know, RBI policy stance would remain at this point in time, given that they are focused on bringing inflation down to 4%, which is their targeted rate. And they would possibly wait for cues from the US Fed before acting. And given that growth continues to remain fairly good where India is concerned, there is no pressing need to change the rate stance at this point in time. So for the banking system, banks which are better placed on deposits, banks which have far more liquidity on their balance sheets would be better placed to handle this current environment until and unless we see a pivot or a rate cut cycle, which would possibly happen sometime later in the year. Mm. Hi, Shivani. Good afternoon. Good to see you. And Shivani, what have you made of this result season? We are almost done and dusted with it. Uh, I think you, you all as well were in the camp who's expecting mid-teen to around 18%, I think 15 to 18% earnings growth. Uh, is it looking on track as of now? See, the problem is that top-line growth hasn't been that great. But there have been margin beats. So if raw material costs start spiking up and the top-line doesn't grow, then that could be at risk. I wanted your thoughts on the same, or are you satisfied and you think we're on course? So hi, uh, Nigel. So you're, you've hit the nail on the head. Uh, that's how the result season has pretty much progressed, where top line growth has been single digit, mid single digit, while your margin expansion has resulted in the net or the net profit or the bottom line growing close to 19% for the nifty companies that have reported numbers so far. So you're right that uh, typically if you look at commodity costs, uh, if commodity costs start to move up from here, the margin impact would start to uh, flow through. The good part, however, is that commodity costs so far have been pretty much under control. Having said that, you do need to see top line growth now starting to pick up, especially uh, in terms of demand. So a few key trends that we have picked up. One is that if you look at the industrials, infrastructure, CapEx side of the story, uh, those companies which are uh, you know focused on those segments have done fairly well. The Issue has been on the consumption side, where typically we've seen that you know the top line growth has been muted. The dichotomy between mass consumption and premium continues, which is impacting the overall top line growth. And uh, therefore, that is one segment, uh, especially where mass consumption is concerned, would be a key to watch out for. The, if you look at estimates for next year, which is FI25, uh, estimates have remained largely intact, which means that so far from an earnings perspective, we are okay and uh, largely on track. If you look at the broader market, broader market earnings delivery has also held up so far well, and therefore there have not been any major earnings cuts as such. But I think for us, the key factor to look out for is whether there is any revival on mass consumption from here on. Mm. Uh, Shabani, do stay on. We've got a quick conversation.